بسم الله وبالله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى أهل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين أما بعد Hey brothers and sisters in Iman, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Today, inshallah, I'd like to wrap up uh, the book topic of the last four videos, which were all books on Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi abdul salatu wasalam. So after today, inshallah, we will go back to a random selection of books and topics. Nonetheless, today's uh, book is the brother of the Prophet Muhammad, the Imam Ali, written by Imam Muhammad Jawad Shiri. The author of the book, uh, Imam Muhammad Jawad Shiri, uh, for American Shi'i Muslims, is considered a legend. A Najaf-trained uh, Islamic scholar, he was invited to the United States of America in 1948 to lead the small but growing Arab Muslim expatriate community who largely worked in the Michigan automobile industry. Whereas uh, where I'm from, in the New York tri-state area, the first Shia Islamic uh, centers were established in the late 1970s, early 1980s, whereas the Michigan community was nearly 20 to 30 uh, years ahead of the rest of us. In my experiences as an American Muslim, the Muslims who emigrated to the U.S., and resided in the tri-state area during the years uh, uh, devoid, devoid of uh, a function, functioning uh, congregation in the 1940s to 1970s, their children and grandchildren largely have assimilated into American society in ways that Islam in name only remains. However, when I visit Michigan, the Islamic community there, yes, it's not perfect, and it has numerous problems, serious, serious issues. However, I see third, fourth generation uh, Muslims who in appearance and even in name uh, may not uh, reflect uh, at all their Muslim or Arab background, yet they are practicing Muslims. A big part of uh, the credit for this accomplishment goes to Imam uh, Jawad Shiri. And you can visit the Islamic Center of America today and see for yourself. Moving on to the to the book itself. The book is probably the very first the very first historical uh, biographical book uh, that I purchased uh, sometime in the late 1990s or early 2000s when I was when I was a very young kid. I actually don't even remember if I purchased it. Uh, actually, maybe I didn't purchase it. Most likely, I didn't purchase it. I was too young. Nonetheless, it was one of the first Islamic books that I was acquainted to. And I'm assuming because it was written and published by Americans for Americans. Whereas the other Islamic books were printed for Middle Eastern or South Asian uh, consumption that later... Uh, received translations for the West. In terms of uh, American or Western Shi'i Muslim scholarship, this book uh, is quite ancient, being published in the early 1980s. So its English is not perfect and the transliteration used is non-standard. However, it being such an early publication, these negative traits are to be ignored. So the book covers the birth and childhood of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam till the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam's public uh, declaration of prophethood all the way to the martyrdom of Amir al-Mu'mineen. It discusses how Ali ibn Abi Talib, the only person to be declared a brother of the Prophet, who was designated numerous times by the Prophet, who was meritorious and virtuous was more meritorious and virtuous than all other companions. Thus, succession logically only belonged to him. Therefore, this book is divided in four uh, historical parts. Uh, first is uh, the Imam during the era of the Prophethood. 
Two, the Imam in the era of three Khulafa. Number three, the Imam in his own era. And four, is more like a discussion, uh, a caliphate in uh, the Islamic law and the conclusion of the discussion. The book uh, fundamentally is not only a defense of uh, Shi'i view of uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib and his successorship to the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but it is an invitation to the Mukhalifin, the Sunnis, to reevaluate what they were told about the course of history, and the author tries his best to do so by largely providing Sunni references, and he does a solid job without having to get into the dirty area of takfir and polemics. And the methodology of Imam Jawad Shiri of not worrying about converting the other, but having the other acknowledge the valid validity of one's argument, the argument of the Shia school of thought, gave the author quite a bit of success for the famous Al-Adhar declaration validating the Jafri Madhab had to do with the personal efforts of Imam Shiri. So yes, uh, I recommend this book especially uh, to new Muslims and those confused about the Shia school of thought. I tried to keep today's uh, review as brief as possible, so I hope it was a benefit. If you deemed it so, please remember me in your prayers. Till tomorrow, Assalamu Alaikum and Fiyamayla.